Martin is, uh, he's very special. I mean, you just look at the uh, oeuvre of his work. I mean, he's, over the past 50 years, he's, he's, uh, and the eclectic range of stuff he's done, you know, he's, uh, He's one of the few directors, uh, and I've worked with some very, very good directors. He knows the acting process. He's an actor himself. We've seen him in films and stuff, little cameos, you know. And he's bloody good, you know. Um, he's, he's very aware of the acting process. And he creates the environment for you to do your best work. And that's not to say the actor is the most important person on set. Far from it. But when that camera's turning, it is about us and this moment of creation, hopefully, this little piece of this story that we're telling. And he makes that, uh, he surrounds you with that wonderful, uh, he's like holding you in the palm of his hand, you know? And all you have to do is act, you know? And it's beautiful and it's very loving and also intimidating, as I said earlier. Because you want to get it right for him, you know? Ferrera lasted five hours. I think he just couldn't take any more pain. No matter how brilliant a Jesuit he was, I think it could be as basic as that, you know? And uh, if he was presented with the same uh, scenario as, as Andrew's character, Rodrigo, was, you know, there's these other Christians hanging. If you apostatize, apostatize, you will save these people's lives. And what is the act of Christianity, you know? You know, doing a selfless act, step on the image of Christ to save these lives. And I think that was part of it too with Ferreira, that Jesus would have done that. And that's the ultimate act of faith, you know? That you would step on the image of Christ, of God, to save human lives, you know? He's uh, an extraordinary young actor. Uh, his commitment to this part and to the film and to Martin and uh, uh, was was uh, quite extraordinary. He's a very, very special and I recently saw Hacksaw Reeds too and he's, oh well, my god, you know, two films about faith, my gosh, he's, uh, he's very, very special I think, Andrew. I'd worked with a couple of Japanese actors before in previous films and uh, I was very struck by their uh, not just their dignity, but their patience and their stillness. They have, they've kind of got this Zen Buddhist approach that's very, very, uh, makes me a little bit jealous, you know? Very, they could have stood there for hours and hours, you know? Absorbing what Martin was saying and just, you know, take after take after take and uh, totally committed to the moment, you know? Um, the lovely actor Issei, uh, who played Inui, uh, Martin had asked me to look at a film called, a Russian film called The Sun, where he plays Emperor Hirohito. It's, it's a master class in film acting, you know. So I was acting with him, and uh, I was very, very aware of his, uh, his presence and his aura, you know. Yeah, the film does have, 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 have many layers. It does have a, a, a kind of an action-adventure thing, which hopefully will keep audiences entertained. Um, but it does have a deeper level of a spiritual quest for faith, for God. Is there a God? Does he or she speak? Is he going to speak to one of the actors or one of the Jesuits? Um, the film's called Silence. This faith in our story with these two Jesuits, played by Andrew and Adam, is uh, they're put through the treadmill of doubt and fear and uh, privations of hunger and uh, destitution and cold and, uh, and always asking, is, is, are you there, you know? And that can go as deep as we as the audience want to see it as, want to, to experience it. You know, it is the question we all ask, you know. No matter if you're, if you're a believer in a religious uh, faith or not, you know. Why are we here? 
What is it about? The story of the film, um, set in the 1600s, uh, two young Jesuit priests, Portuguese, uh, from their father superior, get permission to go out to Japan uh, where Christianity is ruthlessly trodden upon and, and the shogun ate, the shoguns are trying to stamp it out in very, very brutal ways, horrible tortures for uh, anyone who is Christian. We were actually shooting in these hot springs. I mean, it was, the, the ground was bubbling. I mean, it's intense, intense heat. And in fact, it, you know, it looked like a movie set, you know what I mean? But it was real. And you didn't need a huge, you didn't have to make a huge leap of the imagination to imagine these uh, priests and, and Japanese Christians who were thrown into these hot springs, who were tortured with ladles with holes in them so that the, the water would come out slowly and burn them. And many of them refused to cry out. And, uh, and quite a number of them were like over 30 days up there, like crucified and being tortured every day, you know? I mean, horrendous. So we were actually at, not exactly the actual hot springs where these events occurred, but very, very similar ones, you know? Beautiful in one way and yet terrorizing in another. 